Hey, let's uh, talk a little bit about leadership. Um, leadership gets a lot of press. It's been talked about, you know, over the centuries about what makes great leaders. Are they, you know, charismatic and articulate? Are they funny? Do they have a vision? And, you know, to, to large and small extents, all of those attributes of leadership are, you know, very important. Um, leadership style is something that's debated from time to time. And depending on who you ask, people relate to a certain style more than other styles. The one big thing at this point in time that is essential for all leaders, and I include parents in this, that when we're raising children and leading our kids to be, you know, productive, moral, high integrity individuals, there's two pieces of the leadership uh, approach that are very important that we have to be able to use at any given time when the situation or the person needs it or demands it. And those two leadership traits are the ability to be directive to tell somebody what needs to get done, how it needs to get done, when it's supposed to be done, and get to back to me when you're done. That's what we call directive behaviors or directive leadership style. And the other style that we need to be just as effective at is what we call supportive leadership style, where we engage people, we ask questions, we listen, and we do one of the most powerful things that relates to leadership behavior, which is self-reliant problem solving, where we ask people questions where they can actually work through and solve their own problem. So as you start to evolve as a leader or a parent, as you crack the code of being more effective and maybe building your career, think about those two leadership traits and how in different situations, you may need more or less of one versus the other or a combination of both at the same time.